All right, so now what I want to do is talk about something called the immediately invoked function expression. Some people call this iffy for short. So basically this was really popular before we had the let and const, okay? And it's just another way to obtain variable privacy. So if you have multiple JavaScript files, and let's say you were using var like back in the day, well, what would happen is if you didn't have var inside of a function, let's say you had something like a first name variable and then another first name variable from two different files, well, those guys would end up overwriting each other, okay? And you would have some unintended consequences. So the first thing I wanna show you before we get into this immediately invoked function expression, let's say we just type an expression into our file here. So let's say I do something like three plus four. Most people, when they first see this, you didn't declare a variable, you didn't set a variable equal to this, so they think that basically this is gonna crash JavaScript. You're gonna get some kind of error when you pull this up. So let's pop open the terminal. Let's run this guy, and you see it doesn't do anything, okay? So if we come down here, you can put a string in here, so hi, and then comma, I am a string, something like that, or you can put a Boolean, something like true, anything you wanna do here. So let's pop this open and clear this and run this. You see there's no effect, right? It doesn't crash the program. Everything is basically still good to go, okay? So with that being said, let's come up here, and let's start up here. And I'm just going to create a function, but I'm not going to give it a name. So I'm gonna go function, and then I'm going to put some parentheses. So remember, this is an anonymous function because it doesn't have a name. And then before I do anything else, I'm just going to run my file. So let's go ahead and clear this and run this. And you see function statements require a function name. So to fix this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap this whole thing inside of parentheses, and this is gonna create a function expression. So now if I pop open the terminal again, clear this and run this, you have no problems. Nothing's happening because we haven't done anything, but you don't have an issue. So let's pop this back onto our page. And so inside of here, you can have a bunch of variables that you want to be private, okay? So I'm gonna use const, let, and var. Let's just use all three. So I'm gonna do const, something like my name, and let's set this equal to Sarah, let's say Smith for right now, okay? And then let's do something like let my job, and we'll set this equal to, let's do painter, and let's do a little emoji, so painter emoji, okay? And let's do maybe my favorite food. Let's do var for that. So var, my favorite, my favorite food. Let's set this equal to pizza. That's what she likes. So let's go ahead and do the pizza emoji. All right, so at this point we know that because we have a function here, okay, forget about the fact that we haven't called the function or anything like that. Because we have this function here, these variables are function scoped, right? They're local to this function, can only be accessed or used inside of the function. So if I come down here, and let's say I console.log, something like, hi, my name is, and let's use the my name variable, and then we'll say something like, I work as a, and then we'll use the my job variable, and I put my favorite food, didn't mean to do that, so my job, and then we'll put something like, and I really love to eat, and then dollar sign curly braces, we'll do my favorite food. Okay, so let's put an exclamation point there. We know if we try to run this right now, my favorite food, and I put my favorite food twice, this should be my name, so I messed that up. So my name. So we know if we try to run this right now, basically it's gonna say my name is not defined, right? So my name is not defined, my job is not defined, my favorite food is not defined. You're only gonna get my name is not defined because when it finds an error, it's just going to give you that. So let's go ahead and clear this and run this guy. And we get my name is not defined as expected. Now, if we wanted to, we could grab this, again, with a function, normally you're gonna return stuff, but for right now, just to keep this simple, I'm just going to console.log this, okay? And basically, if you run this, still nothing's going to happen, right? And that's because we haven't called the function. So when you have an immediately invoked function expression, because this guy doesn't have a name, what you can do is just put your parentheses here, okay, at the end of this guy, and that's going to invoke or call the function. If we pop open the terminal now, we will finally get, hi, my name is Sarah Smith, I work as a painter and I really love to eat pizza. Now again, just to make this clear, let's say outside of this function, we create three new variables, same way. So let's do const, let's go my name, and let's set this person to, let's say Nicole, and let's say that she's going to be a cook, right? So for her job, let's go const my job. We'll give her the job of cook, and let's do a little emoji for that. So we can do cook, let's take that one, and let's come over here. And the last one was my favorite food. So const my favorite, my favorite food. 
And for her, let's pick something like hamburgers. So ham burgers, something like that. Let's do a little hamburger emoji, okay? And if we go ahead and take this console.log statement here, the exact one here with the exact same variable names, we all know that what's gonna happen first is that this guy right here, this function, okay, is going to get called here. So we're gonna console.log, hi, my name is, in this case, Sarah Smith. I work as a painter, okay, and I really love to eat pizza. When we get down here, we're declaring three new variables. The variable names are the same, but again, because this is inside of a function, it can only be accessed by the function. So when you get down here, these are global variables, okay? So there's no issue, no problem. When we get to this console.log, we get, hi, my name is, in this case, Nicole. I work as a, as a chef or a cook, and I really love to eat, in this case, hamburgers. So let's pop the terminal open, run this, we get that, right? So, hi, my name is Sarah Smith. I work as a painter and I really love to eat pizza. The other one, hi, my name is Nicole. I work as a cook and I really love to eat hamburgers. So, another way that you could do this, okay, another way that you could do this, let's say that we set up a code block. Remember, if I'm using const or I'm using let, those are block scoped, right? So, if they're inside of a function, you can only use them in that function. If they're inside of a block, a code block, they can only be accessed or used inside of that block. So if I do something like, let's say const my name is equal to, and let's say in this particular case, I go with the name of, let's say Jessica, and let's go const my job. And in this case, let's say she's a pilot, and let's see if we can find a pilot emoji. So let's do that. And then the last one would be her favorite food. So let's go const my favorite food, and let's set this equal to fried chicken okay and let's find a chicken emoji chicken let's use this one okay so i can take the same console.log statement and let's go ahead and grab this guy right quick and grab this and we can run it again okay so these are all ways to kind of keep things private so let's go ahead and pop this open clear this and run this and we get all three right so hi my name is sarah smith i work as a painter and i really love to eat pizza Hi, my name is Nicole, I work as a cook, and I really love to eat hamburgers. And hi, my name is Jessica, I work as a pilot, and I really love to eat fried chicken. Now, it's just important to understand that basically where these variables can be accessed in the code. When we first encounter this console.log statement, again, it's referencing this my name, it's referencing this my job, and this my food. When we get down here, these are global, okay? So these can be accessed anywhere. So this guy is referencing this my name, which is Nicole, it's referencing this my job, which is the cook, and then it's referencing this my favorite food, which is hamburgers. And then when we get inside of this code block, again, these guys are local because it's const. If you put var here, and let's go ahead and show that real quick. If I change this to var, okay, so let's change all these to var really quickly. And then I put these to var. Then what's going to happen is, and this was the problem with var, it's going to overwrite this stuff, okay? So it doesn't matter that you're inside of a block here. First, all this stuff is going to be Nicole, Cook, and then hamburgers. This console.log statement is going to run with this, but then it's going to get overwritten. Okay, so that's a big problem for you because if you had two different JavaScript files, you don't want that to occur. So you're going to get the same result here. But if I grab this guy, let's say, for example, okay, let's say I grab this guy and let's say I pop this down here outside of the block now. Well, what you're going to get is two of the same things. So if I pop this open and clear this and run this, you see that it got overwritten. Right, so this one right here, you get, hi, my name is Jessica, I work as a pilot, and I really love to eat fried chicken. You get that twice, okay? So this one basically disappeared, right? Nicole, the cook, and the hamburgers, because it was overwritten because we used var, okay? So it's very important to understand that in terms of old code, if you're working with it, how var works, how it's different from constant let. We kind of take it for granted now working with constant let because it's been used for so many years now, but it didn't used to be this easy. Okay, so I want to show you one other thing. So let's go ahead and get rid of this. And I want to also show you how you can pass things into a function when it's an immediately invoked function expression. Function, okay, inside of parentheses. And then I'm going to do some parentheses here. And then I'm going to call this down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some parameters here. I'm going to put something like first name. I'll put age. I'll put, let's say, job. And I'll put, let's say, food. Okay, so something similar to what we just did. So we'll put a little greeting. So we can just go ahead and say console.log. And I'm going to go the dollar sign curly braces, the first name variable. So the first name, first name variable. We'll say is dollar sign curly braces, this age, okay? So in this case, let's say it was Jason. Jason is 35. And we'll put year or years, okay? Old. 
and works as a, and then dollar sign color braces, we'll put the job, and likes to eat, and then dollar sign color braces, we'll put the food variable in there, okay? So something like that. Now, we come down here, and we can just pass stuff in. So for the first name, let's just do Betty, okay, Betty. And then for the age, let's just say she's 35. And then for the job, let's say that she is a doctor, okay, so she's a doctor. Let's put a little doctor emoji. Okay, so let's pick this one. And then for the food, let's say that she likes to eat donuts. So we'll go donuts, and we'll do a little donut emoji, so donuts, okay? So basically, this is an easier way to do this. Just, you always wanna make things dynamic. You don't wanna type out our hard code variables like we had in the beginning of this example where we said const is the person's first name, you know, their age, so whatever we're putting in there. You wanna have parameters for that so that you can pass in different things and make it more dynamic, right? I can change this up and say, now it's Steve, he's 60 years old, maybe he's retired, and he likes to eat pasta, for example. Okay, if I had hard coded that in, I'd have to go in and make another function just for that person. So let's pop this open and clear this and run this. We get Betty is 35 years old and works as a doctor and likes to eat donuts. Okay, so as expected. So as you work through older tutorials and older code bases, you'll probably see these guys. So now you know what they are and how to work with them.